chapter short note on the primary memory so first we will understand what is memory so just give a brief introduction of this memory means what is a memory in a computer then you can start explaining the primary memory so just say what is a memory it is actually a storage unit there a computer memory refers to the electronic storing space for instructions and data where the computer's processor can reach out quickly the cpu must take the instructions for processing it from where the processor is taking the instructions that is from the memory itself all the instructions will be placed in the memory from there the cpu will take and process that for getting the information okay the computer storage is again you have two types one is the permanent storage and the other one is the temporary storage is what now we will be discussing the primary memory which is a temporary storage memory there the computer storage refers to permanent computer memory that stores all the data files and instructions even after the computer system is turned off this explanation if you don't give also it will work for this question because they are asking about the primary memory so first you just write what is meant by memory these two lines will explain the memory concept here next go to explain the primary memory so in a primary memory you have two types mainly the first one is ram read random access memory and the next type is rom read only memory these two you should explain along with the types of them okay so first one is random access memory the main memory which is ram size varies from 16 mb 32 mb 64 mb and 8 gb this is the size of the ram it can vary in these sizes itself and what are the features of this ram you should write the features are fast memo expensive memory small size memory volatile in nature okay these four are the features fast memo expensive small in size and volatile in nature if you just give these points this is the features of the primary memory then what is this volatile in nature means when you turn on like turn off the system without saving anything whatever you are working on currently will be erased here see the data stored on it where on ram the data that is stored in the ram gets completely erased as and when the computer is switched off okay so this is ram again in the ram also you have different types now the first type is dynamic ram next comes your static ram and you have synchronous dynamic ram double data rate ram so these are the different types of ram so first we will write about dynamic ram this is the most common type of memory chip it is used as a main memory since it is small and very cheap because of these reasons dynamic ram is used as a main memory these points you can write it there and in the dr means in the dynamic ram you will see transistors and capacitors these transistors and capacitors are arranged in a matrix of rows see here the transistors are arranged in a matrix of rows and columns and capacitors hold the bits of information which is zeros and one the transistors and capacitors are paid to make a memory cell here you can just write why what is this dram which is dynamic ram and what it is used means transistors and capacitors are used in dram and this transistors and capacitors make up a memory cell and capacitors are used to hold the bits of information this much if you write for the dynamic ram this is sufficient there 
Okay, next comes your static RAM. Okay, it uses four to six transistors to form a memory cell and takes more space on a chip. No capacitors are used and refreshing is not required. It is much faster than DRAM. Therefore, it is used in the cache memory. So, where you can see static RAM? In the cache memories, you can see the static RAM because it is the fastest memory. No, no capacitors are used, only transistors are used and it usually uses 4 to 6 transistors to make a memory cell there. Next comes synchronous dynamic RAM. A special type of dynamic RAM where synchronized to the system clock of a CPU thereby reduces CPU waiting time for the data. This is about SDRAM. This is a uh, type of dynamic RAM you can say where you can have the synchronized instructions there. Okay. Next comes double data rate RAM. DDR RAM in short you will call that as. This is same as the SDRAM except data transfer rate is doubled the rate of SDRAM. SDRAM is a type of DRAM where you have this synchronized to the system clock of a CPU and thereby increasing the data rate. When you compare this SRAM and D DDR RAM, these both are again same but only the data rate is faster means it is doubled in the case of DDR RAM than the SDR RAM. Okay, so this is about first type random access memory. So next comes read only memory. So here these are non volatile fixed sized memory usually supplied by manufacturers of the motherboards and the types of ROM are programmable ROM, erasable programmable ROM, then electrically erasable programmable ROM. So in short PROM, EPROM and EEP ROM. So these are the types of ROMs. Okay, these are two questions. The rest questions we will see it in tomorrow's class. Thank you.